Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today got my S22 here and I've done over just just under 200 miles um, on the sliders and I'm just going to strip the wheel out. I can't ride today. It has just been raining since yesterday. I got home. I thought myself I had this whole weekend sort of planned with all my activities and whatever and I thought I'm going to get out and and do a riding and ride everything that I've, you know, all the all the all the stuff wheels that I've got. I want to really um, just give them a good old um, ride this weekend. And uh, yeah, since yesterday afternoon, got home. It started raining, and it's raining outside. It's been chucking it down the whole whole day. So I thought to myself, it's afternoon, and now I've got some time to spare. I'm going to strip the wheel and and see how well the sliders are holding up. And um, I thought I'll make a little short video so you guys can also see. So this is the S22. Um, it is the, the first uh, batch added. So the, mo mo the stator is pinned um, by Person Electric Transport. Um, also, um, and it's got the King Song sliders, the one with the eight um, bearings in. And it's, yeah, so. I'm going to strip the wheel out, see how it looks like, and then show you guys how it, how it, how it looks and how, how it's been performing. So uh, let's get started. I'm not going to record the whole thing, but I'm going to strip it, and I'll give you some feedback, strip it, and then give you some feedback. And I'm also going to time it. Okay, let's get started. So I've taken off the first, the top part, and now I'm just loosening all the screws here for the top. And again, I'm not going to um, undo the motor wires. I'm just going to sneak the stuff through here in the middle so i'm just loosening these things off some of them are quite tight but uh, just loosening them off and then what i'll do is then i'll jump to my little uh, screwdriver and then um, try the right side and just take them all off I'm going to need the extension here. It's a little extension here. Just to get in there. My little uh, cheap tool set. But it's interesting how um, this little cheap um, little power driver holds its charge compared to my uh, Bosch one that um, looks like the battery is... Uh, it's finished. That one is quite tight in there. All these ones are pretty much exactly the same. So take them all out. I uh, I will um, start them with a with my hand and then. Tighten them and then I'll tighten them with my hand as well, just so I don't over, over tighten them. So that's that. Um, we need to get these ones loose as well. But yeah, the main thing is out already. Let's carry on. Okay, I've done the top bolts and I've uh, loosened the top um, part, and now I've also. Um, discharge the the controller board so that's all cool and now I've removed the trolley handle I've undo that as well so that's now pretty much ready to take out but now what I'm going to do I'm going to tape this uh, this thing up firstly I'm going to tape the the contacts of the battery up just so if it if it touches something um, it is it's all fine so that's on that side i'm just using uh, masking tape it's not electrical tape it's just masking just masking tape you don't need to go and buy any specific tape it's just so it doesn't it doesn't short out because and then also what i'm going to do is as you guys can see here on the inside top of the controller board there's such a lot of um this white computer com computer paste so what i'll do i just wrap this thing around just a few strips so when i pick up when i pick up the um, controller board or maneuver it then um, it doesn't basically 
cover my hands in computer paste. As much as I like computer paste, I don't like it on my hands. It's just a just a mission to take off. And with this masking tape, it's just nice and easy. Just sort of something to ho hold on to when you move it. Because I'm not going to take the I'm not going to take the motor out. Uh, so I'm not going to disconnect the motor wires. The, the less um, the less I have to disconnect for me less I have to worry about when I'm doing this. So this looks pretty much sorted and that's that. So you can see it's just all taped up. So what one of the guys was saying is they just basically as soon as this is loose now this thing should just all just pull out. So let's see if that works. It's loose. Now I push this thing through here yeah? while well, pulling on there. <laughs> There we go. Some gymnastics needed. But yeah, there's this thing. This battery unit is super heavy. <laughs> the same as last time when I took this thing out. This thing is proper heavy. So you can be caught off guard because uh, you don't know how heavy these batteries are till you have to uh, have to fight with them a bit so I'll just clean up this computer paste off that side and that side is just all the grit and grime there that's it so let's have a look I'll bring you in closer okay so um, this is going to be the right side of the wheel as you can see, there is some dirt on the bearings, but they're all still intact on this side. As you guys can see, there's some muck and stuff in there, but it's but they're all there, and they all look like they are performing well. But there is quite a lot of dirt in here. Not so much on the front end, but definitely on the rear slider. Let's have a look on the other side. Again, this is the front side. So I'll give you guys a good enough light here. I'm just going to wipe the stuff down and again clean the channel out. So I haven't cleaned the wheel at all um, since since the last install. So that's and they're all intact. I was, uh, I was thinking that some of them will be broken. I'm going to put a bit of um, light spray on there just for the corrosion. And I'll clean everything out. But yes, yeah, the rear ones look a little bit dirty and the front ones are the cleaner ones. But no real rust in there as far as I can see. Maybe a little bit on some of them. But everything else looks uh, good. There's no. I was. I was wondering if there's going to be any, like, um, like shavings, metal shavings of the, of the of the rails actually rubbing. But uh, it looks good. Okay, so uh, let's just have a look in the channels quickly. So the channels is dry. But it's definitely, there's definitely some dirt in there. It's not going to be super clean. There's no chance you're going to keep it super, super, super clean. But yeah, no, no real grit. And that's, that's for me a bonus. And I've used the wheel now in the rain quite a few times. But this is the computer paste. These things, this is basically gets stuck into everything. 
There we are. S super simple job. Um, taking it apart. But yeah, so far very happy with that. I thought there's going to be some of the rubber around the bearings is going to be going to be gone. But they're all there. So I'm happy with that. Okay. I'm going to start cleaning and then um, I will give you guys a final update when um, it's all done. Okay, so I found one of the bearings that is um, busy. The plastic is coming loose. I don't know if you guys can see there. I don't know if I can put this is sometimes a bit too close. But that third bearing down, you can see the plastic is loose. So, uh, yeah, so it would have been nice to have some spare of them. I'm going to try and reach out to the guys from Personal Electric Transport to see if they've got some spares of that. Not that it's going to be a, a big problem because I've got so many other ones, but um, just to keep them all intact. Okay, but yeah, it's fairly clean to be honest. Okay, so this is now on the left side. and the left side, we've got another two bearings. So that one, basically the plastic has come out and then another one that's also busted. So two on this side and one on the other side and uh, yeah but it's it's fairly clean to be honest and no, no metal shavings that that's sort of the thing that i was worried about if the bearings or the rubber disintegrate um that's sort of okayish um because it runs on all the other ones but um yeah you can just re replace it just take that off and fit new ones on so that's a fairly easy fix if you can get hold of them but yeah otherwise uh, the front ones is all fine it's only the rear ones Okay, let's continue. Okay guys, um, this is now done. Um, so with, <laughs> with, this, with the taking apart and um, cleaning it and putting it back together to this stage, it's pretty much an hour. Um, the cleaning takes the longest part and then the faff is, is to get all the cables lined up here in the middle to go down that channel, the two battery wires the two light wires and then the other two the controller board wires to fit nicely in there and just to get it aligned so that the the gasket that seals the cables in that channel is nicely aligned and it all um, it all goes in very nice and smooth and secure because the thing is if you if you tear the gasket then the water can come in there and then you're basically stuffed except if you don't mind um riding in the rain um, or, or not going to be riding in the rain so um, just be aware that, that little gasket um, from the controller board that goes on there's a little fine little gasket there and if that is uh, mispositioned or whatever then water can get in there and it can um, um, sort out the stuff but yeah the wheel is back together again um, I'll power it on it is balancing so that's a, that's a good start there was some uh, there was some um, a tiny bit of swearing because I pinched my um, pinched my finger um, with uh, with sliding the battery onto the onto the channels um, because um, the battery the battery cover is is quite heavy. But yeah, the wheel is back together again. Still got a bit of a squeak, but um, I think that's probably because of those. Um, of those uh, uh, bearings that is the rubber that's, that came off. There's enough other bearings to, um, to um, uh, 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 not have to worry about replacing them. I know a lot of guys will go, why, well, well, you've opened the wheel, why didn't you replace them? Eh? Because I don't have the spares, firstly. I, I don't know where to get spares yet. Um, and, you know, there's so many other bear bearings that can keep that um, channel active or the, or the pressure points down that channel, so that should be all covered. Um, the other thing that I just want to mention as well, you know, as much as I like enjoying working on my wheels, I actually don't um, like having to strip stuff, um, fix stuff, put, put it back together again a few days later or a few months later, take it apart again, clean it and maintain it all the time. Um, if I look at all my other wheels, I just basically rode the stuff. Even the S18 was way less... Um, a, 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 a sort of problems for me in this riding that I do, that whole channel area was always dry and clean. Where these channels, they attract dirt, uh, dirt and 
rubber, plastic, sliders, anything that moves up and down in there is going to cause um, friction and it's going to start um, wearing the stuff out. Um, but I'm happy with how it looks like after about 150, almost 200 miles. Um, so yeah, I'm sort of very happy with this wheel, I must say. It's a, it's a very nice wheel, but I actually don't enjoy that much working on the stuff. You know, I'll, I'll do it because I have to do it to maintain it. But um, I'll probably not open it again. Um, it, it needs to now at least do 500 miles before I'm going to open it because um, I just I actually enjoy riding more than actually um, spending time here on my knees trying to uh, sort stuff out because I don't really have a proper work area where I can um, open the stuff and have loads of uh, uh, work space where I can sort of do this. And uh, yeah, working on the ground is not ideal. But yeah, guys, hope hope this helps someone. Um, at least they can you can have a, a look and you can find out that you really need to have some spare bearings if you're going to open it. Um, but all the other stuff, all the bolts were tight. I checked all of them again. They were all perfectly fine. There was no um, anything loose. None of the um, bearings was damaged. There wasn't an awful lot of dirt between the bearings. So um, all um, very good. But yeah, finding replacements. And so forth it's probably going to be the biggest problem for people wanting to keep the stuff into in prime condition but yeah i like to ride the wheel and i'm just going to smash it out this summer and then i'll probably do your maintenance um when it becomes winter again but yeah awesome wheel love it um, i think all the stuff is all sorted on the s22 pro so you don't have to worry about that that much it's going to be a minor maintenance needed but otherwise big thumbs up Big thumbs up for the S2022. Okay, right, guys, hope you enjoyed this little video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If, you, uh, if you've got any comments about it or questions, drop it in the comments below. And please subscribe to the channel. It uh, helps the channel grow. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.